If that ain't the damnedest thing I've seen, look here, Bertha. I don't see Bottom out there with them pigeons before. No, no, look at this. That pigeon done flopped out of Bottom's hand, he's about to have a fit. <laughs> he's down there on his hands and knees over there behind that bush looking for that pigeon. And it's on the other side of the yard. See it over there? Come on and get your breakfast and leave that man alone. Look at him. He's still looking. He ain't seen it yet. <laughs> All that old mumbo jumbo nonsense. I don't know why I put up with it. You don't say nothing when he bless the house. I just go along with that because of you. You around here sprinkling salt all over the place, got pennies lined up across the threshold, all that heebie-jeebie stuff. I just put up with that because of you. You want to go down to the church and want to come home and sprinkle salt all over the place. It don't hurt none. I can't say it for help, but it don't hurt none. <laughs> Look, he done found that pigeon, now he's talking to it. Mm -hmm. These biscuits be ready in a minute. He done drew a big circle with that stick, and now he's dancing around. Hey, I know he better not. Hey, Bynum, what you doing out there stepping on my vegetables? Bynum, you watch where you stepping. Seth, leave the man alone. I don't care how much you been dancing around, just don't be out there stepping on my vegetables. Man, got my garden all messed up now. Playing them weeds out there, burying them pigeons and whatnot. Bynum don't bother nobody. He didn't even think about your vegetables. I know he ain't. That's why you out there stepping on them. What Mr. Johnson say down there? Told him if I could get the tools, I could go out, give me four or five fellas, and open up my own shop instead of working for Mr. Elasco. Give me four or five fellas, teach him how to make pots and pans. One man making 10 pots is five men making 50. He told me he'd think about it. Well, maybe he'll come to see it your way. He wanted me to sign over the house to him. You know what I thought of that idea. He'll come to see you right. I'm going up to see Sam Green. See if he got any more sense than Mr. Johnson. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I can't get no working for Mr. Elowski and selling, selling five, six pots on the side. I'm going up to see Sam Green. See if he loan me the money. When they gonna put you back work in daytime? Told me two months ago he was gonna put you back work in daytime. That's what Mr. Elowski told me. I got to wait till he say when. He tell me what to do, I don't tell him. Drop me crazy to speculate on the man's wishes, but I mean, he don't even know what he want to do himself. Well, I just wish he would go ahead and put you back work in daytime. This working all hours of the night don't make no sense. It don't make no sense for that boy to run out so he gets drunk and they lock him up either. Who? Who the guy locked up for being drunk? That boy that's staying upstairs, Jeremy. I stopped down on Lowe's Street and went home from work when the fellas told me about it. Said they seen him when they arrested him. I was wondering why I ain't seen him this morning. You know I don't put up with that, Bertha. I know you don't. 